you know, last year you guys, um, well, first I want to ask, um, how's Mike doing, but in, in secondary, you know, last year, you guys were up three, one, um, lost that three, one lead, you know, so what's the feeling for you guys to be able to close out in five and, and really do it in, in, in such a decisive manner as you did tonight? Well, I think it shows that last year's last year and this year's this year, um, Game three is game three, game five is game five. You know, the thing about this time of year is that it's as important to be able to forget as it is to be able to remember. And, you know, I, I think our guys have been been focused on, you know, again, controlling what we can control to, to the extent that, um, you know, there's experience gained. Um, I think that's relevant, but, you know, every every game is different, not just not just every season, every year. Um, but I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm I really like that we were able to to lock in 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 game two after after losing game one. Um, we had some guys that played through fatigue, and you know, guys that came up big. Uh, you never know who it's going to be on a given night. You know, I I thought. You know, Derek Favors, his stat line might not show it, um, but the competitiveness is the thing that we've been talking about. Um, the way that Royce competed, we have a lot of guys that really competed and, and stayed focused on, you know, what the what the job was we needed to do. Matthew calls AP. What did you do offensively in the first quarter to, to get to 47 points besides just make shots? What went right for, for your team on offense? Well, we, we really move the ball, you know, and I think you know, when we do that, you know, the, the first thing that has to happen is we have to space, you know, we, you can't be standing next to each other to, to move the ball the way we want, um, you know, that willingness to pass um, and to shoot, you know, I, I think the key is that those decisions are really quick decisions and, you know, obviously, you know, we're capable of, of having stretches like that when we make shots, but it, it happens when the ball moves. Um, it slowed down a little in the second quarter. You can feel it. And that's just going to be a continual point of emphasis for us. It has been the whole season. And for guys to shoot the ball with confidence when they're open, no matter what, you know, no matter where it is in the shot clock, you know, if we've got good looks, we want to take them. And if we don't, we want to move the ball again until we find something. Eric Walden, Salt Lake Tribune. When how important was it to kind of get out to the fast start that you guys had to kind of, you know, obviously when the shots started going down early and you guys were able to kind of put the pedal down, you know, and get out to a huge lead, whereas, you know, in previous games, it's kind of been a little more of a back and forth kind of affair. Yeah, well, you know, Memphis is a really, really good team and they don't make it easy on you. They're they're big. Um, they're obviously well coached. Um, they're excellent in the half court. And, you know, the, the key for us to be able to, to try to generate some of those looks is to get stopped. So um, that, that's the first order of business is us defending and defensive rebounding. And if we can do that, um, you know, you, you get out and there's no question you see the ball and go in the basket and it, it does give you a lift, I think. You know, for us, the, you know, something we've talked about all year is, you know, is maintaining our focus and our execution defensively when the ball's not going in. Uh, and that, that's the case at times, too. But it certainly feels better when it goes in. Ben Anderson, KSLSports.com. Quinn, what did you see from your guards after Mike went down? Well, you know, I, I thought we were very conscious of, you know, fatigue in certain guys. Um, tried to adjust rotations a little bit and use timeouts to, to do the best we could, keeping guys fresh. Um, you know, I thought the ability to throw the ball ahead and, and have other guys, you know, not have to bring the ball up the court or, you know, be able to make plays. But I also thought, you know, Donovan made really good decisions. You know, Joe really steadied us. I know, you know, his shot didn't go down, but, you know, without him, you know, those stretches become, 
become difficult. Um, you know, additionally, I thought JC really picked his spots, um, obviously made some buckets, but also got in the lane and, and broke the defense down. And that, you know, that was what we were trying to do is, is to continue to attack, you know, and, and not get knocked back and, and let the game slow down, regardless of who was in the game. We have time for one last question. Andy Larson, Salt Lake Tribune. Quinn, what can you tell us about what happened with Mike Conley? You know, you'll get evaluated um, after the game and, and over the course of the next 24 hours. And we'll be able to tell you more then. All right, that's it. Thank you so much, Coach.